Hey guys, it's uh, what day is it? Thursday morning. I got the big hat. I hope you can see through the lid. I saw something pretty flashy. Some clad. Looks pretty silver to me. Oh yeah, it's a silver King George the Sixth. See his face. So wait. I tell you the year if I can see it. I think it's 1950. Sweet. I'm back at the honey hall. That one rang weird. It didn't ring like a quarter. Thought I was going to dig a large scent. But hey, that's good. Oh, it's okay, guys. Guys, let's do another reveal. Side wall a bit. That's scary. In the clump. Oh, just a penny. King George the Six. That's okay. Rang pretty good. Okay, guys. I think I see something around. I hope. Yeah. Now I hope I didn't hit it. That was deep. I don't think I hit it, so that's good. But slick. Woo! Okay, I'll put that in the pouch. Looks like a... It's been a while, so I'm not sure, even sure if it's a fish scale or a dime. That's cool. Silver quarter and one of those. What a spot. Back at the honey hole, by the way. That's good. Fix this plug. I'll be on the next. Hey guys, I wasn't sure about this one, but I'm glad I dug it. Nice largey. See if I can see who it is. No, oh, oh, hold on. I have to do this at the reveal and the roundup. Oh, allergy. That's good. Good morning so far. <coughs> Wasn't that deep either. It's like crushed on underneath, so it keeps stuff from sinking, but I guess crushed on was around the old days. But I think it was just moved over. And then ended up shallower. Okay, guys. Hi, guys. Michael here from the Canadian Relic Hunters. Uh, this weekend, I did lots of digging. I did lots of fishing. Uh, Fishing-wise, not so good. Steph had a big bite this morning. So I doubt there was a fishing clip in my video this week. I went out Thursday morning. I got really lucky. And I got something today. 
this morning, but we will do that one first instead of Thursday, because Thursday uh, was a pretty good day, bucket list, you'll see. So let's do today. Um, I went at the fairgrounds, they had the fair recently, and uh, they damaged the... Uh, the ground quite a bit you know how fairs are but i didn't get that lucky i got some nails uh i got a, a dime i thought it was silver until i brought it home i had some pennies nothing too crazy got a 64 penny got this button very heavy it was deep too i can't can't see any writing on it, but it's super heavy. So that was it for today. We went fishing also, as I said. Uh, no fish. It was a nice day out, though. But let's do Thursday. Thursday was a bucket lister day. And anyway, you won't believe it when I show you. Uh, got a square nail. Very old. Well, corroded. <laughs> Pretty sure this is another one. Got my pull tabs. This little thing was like nine to ten inch deep. I swear. I couldn't believe that was the only thing at all. Coin wise, twelve sided penny. I got a weedy. You won't see it because it's worn. It's a 1945. D, I believe. Let's see, you might be able to see something, but I doubt it. You might see the one thing on this side. Maybe not. You got a King George. This one's in really bad shape. This one's in good shape. I forget what year it is. Um, both my hands are full. Should I put my glasses on? But let's do the good stuff. My uh, this was the second hole. That's uh, King George the sixth quarter. It wasn't deep, so it rang like crazy. It's in good shape too. 1950. Should be a picture included in the video. So I got that one first, I was happy, it took a while, then uh, not maybe two holes after, got this little beauty, nice King Edward the seventh, large scent, very nice, oops, it's a 1904, I think that's my fifth large of the year. I was had a slow start, but at five or six, I'm happy. And then I thought this was a dull Canadian dime. I thought it was a George the Fifth dime. I would have been happy anyway. But I get home and I and I put the. Uh, loop on it and I realized it was a seated liberty American dime so you can imagine I got a mercury dime and a seated dime bucket list find in the same year so it's an 1891 oh It's pretty slick, but hey, I don't mind at all. It's beautiful coin. Funny how thin it is and how heavy it is. Anyway, so there should be some photos on my video with those three coins. It was a good weekend. Well, good Thursday morning anyway. So two, two silvers back on the board. I'm going to try to hit 50 at least. I doubt I'd be able to find 70 silvers but I'm on a good, my way to 50 for sure so it's been a while since I had silver this is amazing seated liberty so happy 
Okay, guys, have yourselves a good week, and we'll see you next weekend.